Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So we're going to talk about this guy today. This is an RF field strength meter, and we're going to be using these in the field to test field strength coming up at Orlando Hamcation. You may know, you may not know, we have a big POTA meetup at one of the state parks near Orlando scheduled for Thursday, February 6th, 2025. And I will post details about that meetup in the description below. But we want to do some testing, some actual real world field testing of an antenna system. And the Smoke and Ape came up with this plan. So Coffee and Ham Radio is the other channel that I'm part of. We bought four of these devices to use at that POTA meetup and to test with. We're going to be testing not necessarily takeoff angle, but directionality. And we're going to use a vertical antenna in a couple of different specific scenarios, one with a fiberglass mast and one with a carbon fiber mast. You know why. And, um, and see if there's any significant difference in the radiation pattern of a vertical attached to either of those masts. Now you can do this with one meter, and you can do this with more than one meter, but they all need to be kind of the same, and we want to try and have them calibrated as closely as we can so that they're all reading the exact same kind of settings. And the plan is to have uh, four people be at different points around the antenna as we key up to see what kind of reading we get and take some notes. And Ape has gone all professor on this, and he's got a, a data collection sheet set up so we can have some copious scientific notes. Now, the obvious way to do this would be to do it with a machine that can actually log the data, and you would know the specific distance that you are from the mast kind of deal. This is Coffee and Ham Radios and FEP Labs. We ain't an NIST testing lab, but we're going to wing it as best we can. In any case, that's why we bought these things. So we have four of them. This is off of Amazon. This is a Surecom S10 field strength meter. This is rated for... 100 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz of RF uh, frequency. And the device runs about $32. And I'll have a link, an Amazon affiliate link in the description below for this particular device. You may also recall that Ape and I made something similar to this in videos we both released independently. And we talked about it on the Coffee and Ham radio show as well. Ape put his in a fancy box. Mine was completely white trashed and just a board and a random piece of coat hanger wire that I used for testing and it worked. So let's take a look at this guy. So this isn't really a, you know, specifically this is the coolest dingus in the world. This is the one we bought. Comes with a manual and it comes with the device. And you may notice that it also comes with an antenna right here. And that is pretty much it. This particular device does not require batteries at all. You simply hook up the antenna. So you can adjust this and kind of get a calibration on it. And then it will show you a percentage of RF. And I don't think this is in a specific unit, but it's a relative field strength meter. So the idea is, is that as you key the transmitter at a given point, you move around with this to those different points and get your relative readings as you move around. And you wanna be about the same distance from the transmitter source as you are uh, on each side. So if my antenna is here, let's say at this point specifically, let me use a Diet Dr. Pepper bottle cap as our antenna. So I want to take a reading, let's say, let's say 15 feet away, three meters, whatever. I'm going to take my reading here, then I want to be three meters away from here and here and here and potentially get our cardinal compass points. And then we can get super fancy and get some more data points and then go at the halfway points, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. So that would give us eight data points for what our antenna pattern actually looks like. So that's pretty cool. And again, this would be an awesome device to have something that would log these readings automatically where you could upload it 
to a spreadsheet or even cooler would be able to plot it in real time on an oscilloscope in, in XY mode so I could have a live graph as it collects the data of what the radiation pattern is with multiple hundreds of data points. But this is Coffee and Ham Radios and FEP Labs Radio and I ain't folding that much paper, so we ain't got that. So what we're gonna do is set up our test with multiple ones of these. This device doesn't use any batteries. This is all powered. The needle moves based on the RF signal you have. All right, so quick demo of how this thing works. The radio is right here. Of course, this would be our our antenna outside at Orlando um, set up, and we'll have it obviously hooked up to a bigger radio than an HT. But for purposes of doing the video, this is an adjustable sensitivity on this meter. So if you're testing this fairly close or with a higher power radio or whatever, you can adjust this down so that the meter doesn't peg out, you know, and you break the meter. Again, this is relative signal strength, which is RSSI, as it says on the meter. So we're not really measuring, you know, wattage radiated ERP or anything like that. We're just measuring relative signal strength based on the position of the antenna and obviously the receiver. So with that being said, I've got these both in frame. And what we're going to do is key up this radio. And you can see that, let me move this where it can show up a little better. There we go. And so I've got the attenuation down very low. Whiskey Tango, one whiskey, testing one, two, three, four on five, two. And as I move the radio, the radiation pattern changes. So, I mean, it's physically basically the same distance away from the receiving antenna, which is supposed to be standing straight up. Thank you. So there we go, if I lay this down, you can see our relative signal strength drops, which what that is showing is the radiation pattern of the antenna. And of course, relative power based on our location. As I move the HT away, keeping it oriented standing up like you see on the camera there, and as I move it away, of course that goes down. But again, I can adjust the sensitivity and peg it out, which means if I get any closer, it's really gonna peg out. So now I'm backing away again, and I'm about a meter away, and probably about five feet. And a meter and a half, something like that, six feet. And then as I bring it back in the field, we see this. And when I unkey, then the thing drops to zero. And again, this is all adjustable based on the sensitivity that we have it set at. And if I recall correctly, this is a, a resistor. This is just a, a potentiometer throwing in some resistance into the circuit to accommodate stronger signals, to let in more if we need to, or to attenuate it down. So that is how this works. And again, as I said, our plan is to set up the antenna and then have four people with meters at a fixed distance from the mast and to record those readings. And then, like I said, we'll probably rotate everybody around another uh, 45 degrees. So we have the cardinal points as well as the half cardinal points and see if there's any radiation difference between our antenna based on what kind of mast it's hanging off of. And, and the other thing, and you saw it here, but it's really cool because as we do this, it's literally not moving the radio any further away, but just changing the orientation of that antenna, you can tell our RF is going out in some sort of pattern like that and pointing the antenna dead at it, and it's even closer, we're getting less of that signal. But as I move off angle from pointing the antenna at the receiver antenna, our signal changes, goes up or down, based on how those lobes are laid out. Guys, that's all I've got in this video. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. I hope you're subscribed to the channel, and ring the bell so you get notified whenever I post any new videos. 
Thanks a lot, y'all. Have a good one. 73.